Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the trophies in Bloxburg and how to get them. So as you can see behind me, I have a lot of trophies and there's some more in front of me. We're going to start the video with the more well-known and simple to get trophies. Then we're going to move on to the trophies that are harder to get and more rare. And you might not even know about some of them. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. So the first trophy we have is the weightlifting trophy. And as you can see down here, if you go onto skills, I have actually maxed out all the skills that you can. So to get up your fitness skill, you're going to want to use some of the training equipment. So you can use a punching bag or a weightlifting thing. And to do skills, I would advise probably just going AFK, but make sure you don't go AFK for more than 20 minutes or you'll get disconnected. And to be honest, guys, it does take a good few hours to max out the skill. So don't expect to get this one done in just a couple of minutes. The next skill is cooking and this one's pretty self-explanatory, I'm sure you're all aware of the cooking skill. Every time you cook something you gain some points for your skill and every level you can cook more things. And I actually have a really good tip for maxing out this skill. So you're going to want to go into build mode and get some counters. You don't have to colour them or worry about them being pretty or anything. Then you're going to go into appliances and just buy the cheapest oven, this £300 one. And I place about three. And then you're going to want to get a fridge as well. And then the quickest way to max out the cooking skill is to basically go and take your maximum level. So for example, let's say you're level 5 or level 6. So you take an apple pie, then you will prepare this and put it in the oven. So because you can leave stuff in ovens, after you've placed the first thing in the oven and it's cooking, you're going to take ingredients for a second thing, you're going to make that and then put that in an oven. And then you're going to make a third thing and put that in the third oven. And by the time you've done that, you're going to come back to the first one, take that out and finish that off. Then you're going to do the same for the second one and the same for the third one. And then you're going to repeat the whole thing again. And this is a really quick method because you're not wasting any time waiting for food to cook. And this is probably the fastest way to get to level 10. Next up, we have the gaming trophy. And we have a little computer over here to demonstrate this one. This one is super straightforward, you literally press play and you can play any of these games and again you're just going to want to go AFK playing at the games. Make sure that you don't read the news or watch uBlock or anything like that because that won't get you levelled up. Next is the gardening skill. Now the gardening skill probably takes the longest out of all of them and that is because you have to wait for the plants to grow. So again if we go into build mode here and we go into gardening. Gardening's actually one like cooking where it's really good to level up because you actually unlock new things. With some of the other skills you don't actually unlock anything, but with nature you actually unlock new trees. So for example, this Nubus Superior bush is actually only available I think something like level 8. So the way to do the gardening skill is get this large ordinary planter for $280 and literally place as many as you can. I'm going to place four just for the demonstration of this video. Now if you don't want to be standing there watering things all the time, then I would invest in some sprinklers, but I do know these are blocks bucks, so not everybody will want to get them. Then you're going to want to go over to them and literally press plant, and if you're on level one then none of this extra stuff is going to be available, it'll probably just be this first bit. So just start small planting the natural plants. And unfortunately, like cooking, you cannot go AFK for this one, you have to be actively standing here doing it and that is why it takes so long. Once all your plants have grown you can collect them or sell them and then you can replant them all and just keep doing this until you've maxed it out. The next skill is intelligence and I'm going to show you how to get this. Now intelligence is really simple but I do actually have a tip to do with it. So to do your intelligence skill you read a book. Now as you can see I've brought the computer out here so let's say you're getting your gaming skill up. You can actually read a book at the same time you guys. Now I know this doesn't look like I'm reading it but trust me it is getting your skill up as you can see at the top. So if you're trying to get all your skills up or intelligence and gaming you can actually do them at the same time. So this next trophy is probably one of the prettiest and it is the music note and this is for music skill. So again this is pretty self-explanatory and it is another one you can do AFK. You're just going to want to use an instrument, a guitar or a piano and just play it AFK. Now I feel like not many people know this but when you actually upgrade on the music skill you unlock new songs on the piano so as you can see I have all of them and like these last ones are like level 10 or level 9 songs so that's really cool if you like playing instruments in the game. 
So the next skill trophy is painting. So for the painting skill, you're literally going to want to spawn a painting axle like this and just paint. And again, you can do this AFK. And the last skill trophy is writing. And for the writing skill, you're going to want to go back to the computer and press write book. And again, you can read while writing this book. Make sure you press use on the book. And you can get both skills up at once again. Okay, so we are now done with the skill trophies. Let's move on to the daily trophies. So as you can see, my bank account is looking rather low and that's because I had to buy all these trophies before the video. Trust me guys, when you earn these trophies, do not sell them because buying all the trophies in just this room costs me over 100,000. And I'm not even exaggerating. This 30 trophy here and this 365 trophy were both 20,000 each. So make sure not to sell your trophies no matter how much you want the money. But these trophies are pretty straightforward and they're to do with the visit streak. So if you visit for seven days in a row with no gaps, you'll get this trophy. And I think you get money with them too. So the seven day streak trophy gives you $10,000. If you log in for 14 days straight, then you will get $30,000. And you guys, that's not 14 extra days. That's just another seven days after this one. So you could complete this all in 30 days. And when you log in for 30 days straight, you will get $75,000 guys. That is actually insane. So if you log in for 30 days straight, you're going to get 75,000 plus 30,000 plus 10,000, which is $115,000 for literally free. All you have to do is log in. Then over here, these trophies are a little bit different. These are login trophies, but you don't have to log in every day to get them. It just counts any day you log in. So if you log in two days one week and three days the next week, then you will earn five days. So if you log in for 30 days, then you will get this trophy and 200 blocks bucks. Blocks bucks is quite expensive to actually buy with Robux. So these are quite a good way to get blocks bucks. If you log in for a whole hundred days, then you get 500 blocks bucks, which is amazing. And if you log in for 365 days, which is a whole year, then you will get this trophy and two thousand blocks bucks yeah you'll get two thousand blocks bucks guys so if you think you've been playing for over a year now then you're probably close to getting this trophy so just keep logging in every day and you will get that blocks bucks so this trophy on the end is one that you can't actually earn you have to buy with a game pass so when you buy the premium game pass you will actually get this free trophy which is worth ten thousand dollars but unfortunately you can't work for this one the only way to get it is to get the premium game pass which is 400 robux so that is all of the login day ones done and premium so let's go outside to the more rare trophies so the first trophy is the shell trophy now i feel like most people will know about this the shell trophy is quite like an iconic one it was probably one of the first secret trophies and here's how you get it so to get the shell trophy in blocksburg you have to drive over to the beach area and then you actually are gonna wanna jump into the sea. Now, obviously, because I already have the trophy, it's not gonna show up for me, but what you do is you're gonna wanna zoom in and swim underwater, and you're gonna wanna look around this side and around that side. I think it can slightly vary for each player, but you're gonna wanna zoom in, and it will magically appear under here. All you have to do is click it, and then it will go into your inventory. So it's a pretty simple trophy to get, actually. Now, this next trophy, unfortunately, I don't think you can get it anymore. So I think this was added in the April Fool's update when they pretended to add a school. So basically, if you don't know, they turned the town hall into a school for like a week. And it sort of just had one classroom in and inside you could take a test. And if you took the test, then you would get this trophy. So unfortunately, you can't actually get it anymore. But I think they'll probably add another April Fool's trophy. So you can have another chance of getting it next year if you don't already have it. Now, this next trophy, I can't remember exactly when this was, but I do remember what it was. A while back in Bloxburg, there was this weird shape thing that appeared on the beach. And here's a picture of it on the side here. And unfortunately, you can't get this anymore. But basically, once you open this big mysterious rock on the beach, you got this cube. And I'm pretty sure that's where it comes from. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's where this crazy looking trophy comes from. Now, these next two sort of go together. This is for the elf hunt. So you got this if you completed the 2020 elf hunt. And you got this if you completed the 2021 elf hunt. I actually haven't completed the 2022 one yet, guys. So I need to do that before I run out of time. And for completing each of these, I think you get 500 blocks bucks each. 
Unfortunately, again, you can't get these anymore. You could only get them if you completed the elf hunt in 2020 or 2021, but there's still time to complete the 2022 elf hunt, so if you want the trophy, then go and complete that. And these last two, again, go together. These are not for a billion login or five billion login, that is impossible. But instead, these were awarded to players who have been playing Bloxburg when the game hit one billion visits and five billion visits. So these trophies are also exclusive, so you can't buy these and you can't get them anymore. Although I'm pretty sure they'll do another one for when the game hits 10 billion visits. But anyway, I think the first trophy awarded players 500 blocks bucks. And I don't know about the second one. I think it was either 500 blocks bucks or 1,000 blocks bucks. But either way, they both gave you a large amount of blocks bucks. So that's all the physical trophies. But the game doesn't only have trophies. It also has plaques. So the first plaque is for the RB battles and I think this was for 2021 and basically this was for completing the maze which they add by the campsite and unfortunately you can't get this plaque anymore, this was for 2021. The next plaque is for completing the cornfield maze, you got this if you completed the 2021 maze. And I don't know if they did one for 2022, but maybe you could get this if they bring it back in 2023. And then this last one is actually one you can earn, and this is for maxing out any job. So I have the delivery person at Pizza Planet, and this is actually so fancy if you look at it. So if you want this one, that's probably one of the hardest to get because it takes so long. Anyway, as you can see, guys, I have four empty podiums here, and that's because there's four trophies in the game that I don't have. And some of them I don't even know if I can get anymore. So the first trophy is the RB Battles 2022. I don't know if this is still on the game, but if it is, I'm definitely going to try and get this trophy because look how cool this looks. The second trophy is the Lightning Bolt trophy. Now, a lot of people thought this was a myth for a long time, but it is actually a real thing. And to get it, supposedly you have to be struck by lightning. And I don't know if anybody's actually got this yet or if many people have got it, but if you really want all the trophies, then this one is probably the hardest in the game to get. The next one I don't have is the 2022 Elf Hunt one, like I mentioned earlier. I haven't finished the Elf Hunt yet, but I'm going to try and finish it later so I can get this trophy. And then the last trophy that I don't have is one that they actually added literally yesterday, which is a sleigh trophy. And this trophy, guys, has confirmed to be real, but how you supposedly get it is you drive into the town centre and you go towards the Santa photo shoot. And if you wait around here long enough, supposedly Santa actually disappears off the sofa and then you're meant to look around the sky and look for a sleigh and somewhere around the map, Santa will drop a present and inside the present is the sleigh trophy. So this is incredibly hard to get and it's only just been added. But if you're looking to get this, I would try and get it as soon as possible because I reckon they'll take it out when the New Year's update comes. Okay, you guys, so that was how to get every trophy in Bloxburg. I really hope this helped you all and I'll see you all in the next video.